Hey now, Mike Shaman here. And you may have seen my other video about selling domain names and now you're on to the next step where you sold your domain name and need to transfer it to a client. Today I'm gonna to be using GoDaddy to transfer a domain to Google Domains. And you wanna make sure you watch till the end because I'm gonna show you how to speed up the process from five to seven days to 15 to 30 minutes. So watch until the end to make sure you get this one step that you need to do for fast processing a domain name. Let's go ahead and show you how you do it right now. I'm in the back of my account of GoDaddy. I'm gonna go up here to my account manager to my domain manager and I'm going to go to my domains once I'm on that page I'm going to scroll down and find the domain that I want to transfer to a different client go ahead and hit the three dots and then go to domain settings all right so once you're inside the domain settings page you want to go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom this is where you can unlock and lock your domain once to the unlock position go ahead and hit edit once you hit edit, a little consent box will pop up and then you just want to hit yes and continue once you see the box. Now if you look to the side on this page, you'll see a little button right here. It says transfer domain away from GoDaddy. Go ahead and click that button. Once you click that, a list of instructions comes up on how you're going to need to transfer the domain. We're going to go through those steps right now. After you're done with this page, you want to hit continue with transfer. And you can read them one by one if you want, but basically we just need to get an authorization code. After you hit continue, you get an authorization code on the domain transfer checklist here. Go ahead, copy that to your clipboard, because you're going to need to send that to your client on the other side who wants to receive the domain. You also get an email from GoDaddy letting you know that the domain has been unlocked, and then another one with the authorization code. So once you have the authorization code, you want to tell your client the authorization code and then go to their Google Domains account and then just go to the transfer button. Go ahead and enter the domain name right here. Then you'll be prompted to pay the fee for Google Domains, which is whatever, $12 a year. And then also the authorization code, which you can just put in right here. Then once you do that, hit continue and follow those next couple easy steps. After that's done, your client will tell you if they've entered the domain name at their registrar. You can go back over here to My Domains. Then if you click the drop down of domain, go to Transfers. All right, once in Transfers, you want to go to Transfers Out. Then you can go to your domain name, hit the check mark next to it, and then click Approve Transfer. Now your domain name should be on its way to its new registrar in 15 to 30 minutes. So once that is done, you'll get an email from GoDaddy letting you know that your domain is all set and ready to transfer out. Then you also get one that letting you know that the domain transfer was completed. Now if you want to know how to find expired domain names that you can potentially sell for profit, you're going to want to watch the next video, that one right here. Go ahead and click that video and I'll see you in that one as well.